It's been good training for a lot of the soldiers. Uh, we don't really get all that much wrench time anymore back at the unit, so this is the best place to do it right now. Okay, hang out here with them for like two weeks? Yeah, you get to know the guys a little bit better when you're out in the field for two weeks. But phone service here is not the greatest, so I mean, you really have to talk to each other. <laughs> Uh, today we came out here and then I grabbed uh, an element and a boat and then we went over to uh, DZ Bone and then we did sling load ops and then uh, dropped two ramps and then a MK2 or bridge direction boat uh, out on Lake Kyle. I mean, what's, oh, it's what's a blast. Okay. Having a Chinook, you know, a couple feet above your head, I mean, rotor wash going, everything going, I mean, it's gets your adrenaline pumping. Honestly, it's been awesome. I can't ask for a, a, a better um, BCT or uh, battalion to work under. I mean, it was almost like we were part of the 101st. They never treated us any different. Uh, they actually went out of their way to get what we needed to make sure the mission was accomplished. Well, just like any other bridging mission, once you complete it, it's, I mean, there's nothing better than, you know, seeing the, the boats out there, the ramps, getting it all together and this time it's nothing different, it's just that feeling of accomplishment and uh, it's good seeing the troops out there too and this is really why they joined um, to be out here and uh, raft people and do their mission. I've been I've been a boat operator pretty much the entire time I've been with the unit. Um, that's my strongest point. Um, they got me in. They got me in on uh, boat ops very early in my career and uh, I enjoy it and that's what I've stuck with that's my strength so oh that's I mean that's what we that's what we love to do and that's what we're that's our strengths uh, with at the 739th I mean this uh, the, the ribbon bridge the float bridge um, that's our strengths and we, we try to bridge as often as we can started off we woke up at three o'clock this morning uh, mission mission got a little bit delayed but everything's went great so far we built two rafts um, and longitudinally and conventionally rafted them across this lake um, and spent the better part of the day doing it and we're continuing to do it as the sun begins to fall. So Specialist Long Henry and myself actually went and uh, they sling loaded a, a bay and a boat um, with a Chinook and we actually worked, got to work hands on with the 101st a couple lieutenants over there. Super nice guys, great to work with and we got to of course ride in, a, ride in the Chinook afterwards and that was an experience like no other. And, uh, and the pilot was actually really generous to us. I mean, he took us for a long, long ride in and out of trees. And uh, it, was, it was a blast. It was actually a great time. So I have every, great things to say about the 101st so far. Everything I've met, everybody out here has been a pleasure to work with. And living in tents, I mean, it's not necessarily hot out, but it's humid. We've had a lot of rain. We had to actually had to build in the rain the other day. Um, so that's been, I mean, that's the challenge. It's just mother nature more than anything else. And, uh, so, I mean, but aside from that, I mean, the camaraderie and, and working with the guys and stuff, I mean, you, you tend to forget all that, as, as, especially after days like today when everything's went so good and we built and, the, you know, the whole mission was a success. So, um, I mean, the negatives, you, know, you don't really even think about them after, after all this comes together. So, 